When you first start using Figure Notes software, you need to make sure that you have MIDI sounds. If you're on a PC, a Windows machine, then your MIDI sounds will just be taken care of and they're all inbuilt. When you're on a Mac, you'll either need to open a program called Simple Synth or you can use GarageBand for your MIDI sounds. Once you've done that, you can open your Figure Note software and it will recognize the MIDI, MIDI programs. Now to get started, we first want to set the time signature. Make sure you do this first so that you don't lose any work afterwards. We can go all the way up to 16 if we want to. This means that when we are doing more complicated rhythms or lots, a series of lots of quick notes, then we can double the length of everything and make the bar longer than it would be if it was in conventional notation. So for example, if we had lots of semiquavers and we wanted to actually write them out as quavers, we could have an eight beat bar. So let's keep it as four for now. Great, so then we can double click in this dotted area here and we'll get this page setup box. Here you can type in your title and composer. You can copyright it, you can have page numbers, you can even watermark it or change the orientation of the page. So we'll keep it as portrait for now. If you want to up any of these uh, any of these text sizes to help with visual needs, then that's great too. There are more advanced settings by clicking this advanced button and here you can uh, change the margins, you can move the whole piece across using left offset and you can change the gaps between the parts um, using the parts gap scale and the staff gap scale. Once you're done and you're all set up, just click done and done. And here's your piece set up. So I'd quite like to have four bars set all the way across here. So now you can see that I've used my image scale to make the bars bigger. I can double click here, use advanced and the left offset, I can make them center better on the page. Okay, and then click done. Great, so now my piece looks how I want it to look when I first start. So I'm going to set it up now and input some notes. So you can either drag and drop from the, either the palette or the keyboard. You can then double click to enter any extra notes. Um, you can lengthen your notes by using the plus here or the minus here to shrink them back again. They do it just in small steps like this of a semiquaver, so you can control it very easily. If you want to, you can use your shortcut. So we've got one, two, three, four, and in the new software, it goes all the way up to eight, but in 2.2, we just go up to four. So let's have a, a two beat note there, and we can double click to enter some more. Okay, if you want to change the pitch, say you would, would like a, a red with an upwards arrow, a C sharp, you can use your pitch to go up and down. If you want to nudge your note, you haven't quite got it in the right place, you can nudge right and left. And that's how you input notes. So you can drag from the black notes as well if you if you have lots of sharps and flats that you don't want to uh, use the pitch arrows for. With your uh, increase and decrease of the length of the note and your pitch up and down, you can hold down shift and use your left and right and your up and down arrows on your keyboard. So I can lengthen this note by holding down shift and clicking on the right hand arrow. And I can also change the pitch by holding down shift and using the downwards arrow to go down, upwards arrow to go up. And that's how you input notes. Take a look at the other videos to see what other things you can do, including adding lyrics, adding chords, changing chords, um, adding different parts and different stages. So take a look at the other videos too. This is just a starting off point. Hope that helps. Mm -hmm.